Hi, welcome to Bright Hope Creations. I'm Kara, and today we are getting all romantic in our wildest dreams. The Lawn Fawn kids are going to help us out today, the boy and girl that are throughout different stamp sets. Also, the large mini slimline stackables, just stitching double rectangles, the fancy scalloped rectangle stackables, quilted heart backdrop portrait, the outside in-stitched heart stackables, outside in-stitched thought bubble stackables, and lacy borders. Our girl is from Joy to All, and the boy is from Screen Time, and the wildest dreams come from the Two Can Do It. I'm using four different dies to cut out some really rainbow pink stripe paper to create the quilt. So here's the largest of the mini slimline stackables, the quilted heart backdrop in portrait. And then I used two of the just stitching double rectangles to put some extra quilted stitching into the quilt. I'm topping that off with a frilly piece of ballet slippers with the lacy borders and also a fancy scallops rectangle stackable for the pillow. All right, let's stamp out our little girl. Now she is from joy to all and she is kneeling. So she could be kneeling by the tree or, or whatever, but from a bird's eye view, she looks like she's sleeping. So that's what inspired me to make this card today. Uh, here she is all cut out with a coordinating die and there she is in her little bed. Uh, but I'm going to cut around her arm just so that she can have her arm outside of the sheets. Now the way she is holding her arms, I think she'd be cute to put uh, a little something in there, like uh, a little teddy bear or a heart or something. But anyway, she's all tucked in, and now we're putting the dream together, the dream sequence. I die cut out an uh, outside in stitched heart to put at the top, and I'm using Ballet Slippers ink by Lawn Fawn and a blending brush. I'm lining up my heart by looking at them both with some light behind it and that's how I lined that up but now I'm blending this on now this is the amazing thing about Lawn Fawn ink is it uh, kind of looks splotchy here you might think oh that's not real even well by the time it dries it is so smooth and even it, it's gorgeous <laughs> all right I also have the little hearts from her quilt I'm going to scatter them up above kind of increase the look of this love dream that she's having and then put in my thought bubble. This is the smallest of the thought bubbles and so there's not a lot of room for a scene. So I stamped it ahead of time and now I'm going through and just kind of showing where I took some notes about how I wanted to mask things off to to get the scene all to work together. So here's my simple trick. I stamped it first, everything on top of each other, and then whatever I want in the front, I stamp first. So I put a number one on that little chameleon there, and I stack that thought bubble right on top of the one that I want to stamp on. So when that stamps down, he's right where he needs to be. I am masking him off with a little bit of a full stick sticky note and then add my scene back on top line that up just right and now I'm going to add whatever I put the number two on which is our little boy and I'll pick that up with the misty door and then take off my scene stamp him down and that chameleon is right where I wanted him on his lap I'm gonna mask him up and then whatever is number three on there. So I have the branch and the bird as number three. I stamped the branch first and I did mask it because I decided that the toucan's tail might be behind the branch. I'm scooching that toucan in close to the boy so you can see most of him. And now I'm just taking my scene and adding things around. I don't need to put that scene back on top because I can kind of eyeball it at this point, make sure that everything's where I want it. I'm going to mask a little bit so that my leopard doesn't get 
uh, caught up with some leaves. I'm trying to keep this as simple and clean as possible. So I have my leopard on there, and now it's just a matter of some leaves. I'm going to use this one leaf all around. Just add it into those little white spaces. And now the fun part, I can pull off all of those masks. And I have this scene exactly how I want it. And there we go. Time to color it in. And I'm just going to add some Copic markers to my scene, a little B00 for the background. And the large leaves, I wanted kind of a bluer green. So this is a G00. And then added in some BG72 to shade those and also brighten it up a little bit with BG13. And so that kind of keeps those leaves in the background with the sky. Here's that branch with an E23 and an E25, and then I darken it up a little bit more with an E74. Some brighter leaves on the tree with the G14, and now for my little leopard guy, he's going to be YR20s. So this is definitely a dream sequence because uh, that wild leopard is next to her loved one there, but I'm sure all is well, right? Because <laughs> everybody looks so happy. But uh, this dream idea, I think you could do so many things with it. I'm doing this for Valentine's Day because she's uh, dreaming about this guy, but you could use this for her dreaming about, I don't know, a puppy or something that you, a trip, you know, something that you might want to give your kids to say, hey, we're going on a, we're going on a trip or we have a new puppy. Um, and I just think it'd be a fun way to announce these things. The little boy in Joy to All is also kneeling. So he, he also looks like he could be sleeping. And so it could be used for a boy or a girl. And I love that this little boy and girl show up in all these different stamp sets because even in Tiny Christmas, where they're really small, they are the same shape or have the same hair style. So it's a fun way to have these kids go on an adventure, you know, maybe uh, far away or close up, depending on what your scene is needing or what you're looking for. All right, well, on to this little boy's hair. I like to just swish lines across uh, that go in the same direction as the shape of the hair. So kind of follow along in a curved way. I'm using the same colors that I used on the branch for the hair. And now an E00 for his face, for his skin color. And then I'll darken that up with an E21 and even a little bit more with the E23. Now I'll do the same thing with the girl's skin color and uh, her hair is going to be the same colors that are in the leopard. So the YR20s, but also uh, adding a little bit of the E21 and 23 into her hair to brown it up, but uh, pretty much did her hair the same way that I did the little boy's hair. Time for the toucan. Here's a little bit of color around his eyes. And then I've got, he's got some blue feet. So I kind of, I looked up toucans and, and some of them have blue feet. So I thought that was fun. So a little bit of B02 and 05. And then onto his beak, he's got some red and orange going up to yellow at the top there for that first section. And I added a second layer of that. And now onto the blue B02 up to YG25 for that second section into the YG21. A little more blue at the bottom. And then for the third section, I have a B05 and I'm blending that up with a B02, just fading that out. All right, for his feathers, I'm using a BV23, and sometimes I use the BVs instead of grays, like the warm or cool grays. I don't know, I, I just, I like the 
it's got a little color to it. I don't know. I just think it's a brighter look and a little more cartoon like to me. So here's the BV25 to shade. Just finding all of those uh, shadows. And then this is really dark, BV29. Let's get into those darkest of the shadows there. And then I'll just blend that all back into the lighter areas. I thought he needed a little extra red, so that's the R05. And now to shade in that white section on his face. So it's a BV20, again, using that, but also even lighter with the C00. Our little lizard pal is going to be a YG20s and add a little BG as well. So YG21 to start and shade him up with the YG23 and then the 25. And then kind of like those big leaves in the back, I'm adding in some BG72, and I'll brighten that up with that BG13. So he's got that yellow-green and blue-green going for him. I wanted to keep my colors somewhat consistent, so the little girl has a yellow-green nightgown, and the boy has a B05 and 02 shirt and some corduroy pants that match that leopard all right so deciding uh seems kind of busy up there and i'm trying to figure out how to make that look more dreamlike so i'm using a white gel pen to kind of get some lines around it like a puffy cloud so to speak and i'm adding some b00 like the sky to the littler bubbles and then for some detail, I wanted to add a little ink blending to the quilt and the pillow. So I'm just using a small blending brush to get into those little areas where the stitching would show up a little bit more. Initially, I thought that I wanted a heart behind the thought bubble to help express her love. But now looking at it, I think it's a little too busy. And so I'd like to change her over to a, a white panel and use that heart on the inside of my card. So I think this is a little cleaner. It shows her dreaming a little, it focuses on that dream a little bit more, but I'm still gonna scatter those hearts around to show that she is in love. All right, I'm gonna take a combination of tape runner and my Lawn Fawn glue tube and adhere everything down on my front panel. So here's our frilly sheet, and she's tucked in there with her pillow. As a kid, I always wanted sheets like that. I, I, I remember the Sears catalog. There was this frilly bed set with a canopy in it. Oh, any girl's dream. <laughs> well, anyway, just getting everything else adhered down and she is in her Sears catalog bed, dreaming about her, her guy, her wild man. <laughs> All right, I have some cilantro cardstock that I made into my card base. And I'm just going to add this panel onto the top of that. And then it's time to put that sentiment together. And the sentiment's going to be on the inside of this card. And we'll use that ink blended heart. I found what I wanted for my sentiment in various stamp sets. So uh, this is from Ocean Selfie and Two Can Do It, Scent with Love add-on and Yeti or Not. And then I'm also going to use Milo's ABCs for my big word, dream. Now I found that the black licorice ink stayed really crisp on top of the ink blending. And so... I used that instead of the jet black ink. I'm lining up You Are from You Are Stinkin' Sweet. And here's Two Can Do It. That will have the word wild. And then I'm going to use the EST from another word. And I found best, so I'm going to use the EST from there. But you can find that on the end of a lot of words like sweetest or biggest. Anyway, uh, after I've got the wildest down, I have Milo's ABCs 
and I'm putting the center letter down and I'll pick that up with the door of the MISTI, and then I can put the rest of the letters down next to that on the left and right. It's just so much easier to get those letters in place when it's on something like an acrylic block or the door of the MISTI. So that will help me have this word right in the center of my heart, and I'll stamp that a couple of times, and it's all set to go. So I'm going to just take my tape runner and put some adhesive on the back of this panel and add that to the inside of my card. And here it is all done. Our little girl is having some sweet dreams. In fact, she's having her wildest dream. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the video today and it inspired you to make a dream sequence card for yourself. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.